The Greek freak has been known to try to bring peace and love to the NBA, especially after he was named one of the captains of the NBA All-Star Game this past season and vowed to select certain players in order to help squash beefs. But now he is throwing some major shade of his own at the Boston Celtics. And speaking of the Celtics, is Terry Rozier ready to pack his bags and leave Boston? Stay tuned, I have all the details coming to you now. Hey guys, I'm Britt Johnson. Make sure you follow me on social media at I am Britt Johnson and click subscribe to The Fumble if you haven't already. It's Wednesday and the Eastern Conference is gearing up for game one of the conference finals as the Milwaukee Bucks take on the Toronto Raptors. The Bucks had tons of time to rest up after winning the semi-conference finals against the Celtics 4-1. The Raptors, on the other hand, are coming off a huge buzzer-beating game game-winning shot from Kawhi Leonard during Sunday's Game 7 matchup. The question is, will the Bucks break hurt or help them as they head into the series? According to the Bucks superstar Giannis Antetokounmpo, this series will be a lot harder to make a comeback from than the previous one. After being blown out in the first game of the Celtics series, the Bucks stepped their game up and went on to win four games in a row. However, Giannis doesn't think it'll be that easy going into his matchup against the Raptors. Tuesday night, he told ESPN this about the upcoming Eastern Conference Finals. Against Boston, you can go down 1-0 and still be fine, but against Toronto, it's hard to be in that spot when you lose the first game in your home. Okay, a little shade to the Celtics. During the regular season, the Bucks became the first team in the NBA to clinch a playoff berth and also secured the number one spot in the Eastern Conference, giving them home court advantage going into the playoffs. During the regular season, the Bucks won three of the four matchups against the Raptors, but guys, we all know playoff basketball is just a little bit different. Just ask the Thunder, who actually swept the Blazers in the regular season, but went on to lose to them 4-1 to during the first round of the NBA playoffs. And speaking of losers, let's get back to the Celtics, who were one of the favorites to win the Eastern Conference, but fell a little short. Well, actually, really short. Celtics baller Terry Rozier appeared on ESPN's first take on Tuesday and told it like it was. The NBA baller was asked why the team failed. Was it Kyrie? Was it Gordon Hayward? Or was it the coaches? Check out what Terry had to say. I feel like they just treated them like they was on that level where it, there were no adjustments that could be made because uh, they are who they are. And, uh, you know, we never figured it out. Gosh, it's so refreshing to hear a player tell it like it is when it comes to his own team. And Rashir went as far as even saying that that actually might not be his team much longer. He went on saying this, no, I might have to go. I might have to go. I put up with a lot this year, so I said what I said after this season. I think we all know I'm not trying to step into that again. After his appearance on First Take, he spoke with Yahoo Sports to clarify his comment saying this. I sacrificed obviously my talent the most. I think me being out there and giving my full style of play, how Terry Rozier play, I feel like I couldn't be that person this year. This season, Rozier averaged 9 points, 3.9 rebounds, and 2.9 assists. Where do you guys think he will end up this upcoming season? And who will win the Eastern Conference Finals? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, click subscribe, and shop the Fumble store for the latest game day gear. I'm your host, Brett Johnson for the Fumble, and I'll see you soon.